my goodness. Uh, hi everyone. Good morning. It's the last stream of 2021. My god, where's this year gone? You know, we started streaming in March. And uh, <laughs> that only feels like a few weeks ago. And now we're in December. What? What? Oh, man. So we've got an interesting stream plan today. I'm going to play a little bit before we leave. And then Sam will be joining me for a very concise update on before we leave stuff. We're going to be talking about the Xbox patch that's hopefully coming soon. We're going to be talking about the Wasteland update that's going to be coming soon-ish. Uh, and a couple of other bits and bobs, I believe. And then... After that, the whole team will be joining us for a little retrospective on 2021. We're going to hear from everybody about what they, what they have achieved this year, what they're really happy with, and what they're looking forward to next year. And then, and then, we're playing Arctic Phone. And I'm very excited. It's going to be a very compact stream. It's not going to be four hours like my stream last week. Wow, streaming for a long time is hard. Good morning, Ella Charmed. You've been giving us some absolutely amazing feedback about the Wasteland update. Thank you very much for your hard work. Absolutely astonishing what you all do for us. Thank you. All right, speaking of before we leave, do you guys want to know something really funny, actually? <laughs> I was setting up the stream this morning and I middle clicked <laughs> on this building and I was like, I completely forgot we put that feature in. It is so useful. And I just forgot we did it. <laughs> just standard Emily things, right? Wow. It's crazy to think that this is the last stream of 2021. It's also... I don't think he's here yet. Let's see. Ha 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 ha. It's also Sam's birthday. So when you see Infmon pop up in chat, everybody, make sure you wish him a happy birthday. I've got the mod mod chat open so I can see all the different users in chat and he's not here yet <laughs> Shh, it's a secret everybody all right so can I build this the whole whale charmer in 27 minutes let's find out can we finish before we leave in 27 minutes Oh, wow. It's a very humid and rainy day up here in Auckland. Or Tamariki Makaro. I'm still trying to get Auckland's actual name correct. So apologies if I've butchered the pronunciation. Tamariki Manuko Makaro. Gonna have to work on it. Mm. I'll be drinking a lot of water this stream. Ugh. Oh, did you all hear the beep? That was an angry beep. Somebody just followed. Oh, Speakla is now following. Hello, good morning. How are you today, Speakla? Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Let me just do that real quick. Whoop! Speaker, I'm great. Thank you for asking. It's the last stream of the year for us here. It's really, really weird to think that it's December. <laughs> very, very weird indeed. Um, so... I need to get more steel plus. That would be marvellous. 
Oh my gosh, it's way too early in the morning to look at this. <laughs> it's such a puzzle. Okay, so I need a steel going to Bob renewed. Uh huh. Okay, we've got actually, we've got a good amount of steel going places. Fred, huh? Fred, the first planet. Exciting stuff. Yeah, it's the 14th already. Stuff's going fast. I know, right? Have, has everyone done their Christmas shopping? I haven't. <laughs> because I hate myself. <laughs> Still need to get a couple of gifts for people. I always, every single year, I leave it to the last minute. Every year. And every year I'm like, I'll do it early next year. Some things are inevitable, you're like, the sun rising, the tides changing, and Emily not doing her Christmas shopping when she should. <laughs> I'm considering making another ship, you know? Submarines vibing. I swear I have a ship right here. Fields and wells. Shipwright 2. There we go. Ah, there you are. You are hidden. Let's just make a little. I don't. I just want a regular trade ship, please. Is it working? Is it broke? Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion that might not be working. Emily, why do you do this? I don't know, man. Me, either my mates can just get him in January. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm busy for all of December, especially around Christmas. <laughs> no, you can't see me until January. <laughs> And I'm not sorry about it. Um, that's weird. That should be working. That's alright, we'll just build another one. That's gonna get awfully cramped if I build that there, but why not? Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, yeah, trade ship. Oh, still waking up a little bit. So now that it's December, has everyone just sort of hit that holiday mode? It's been like, eh, productivity. <laughs> no, I have. It's been really hard. Um, being efficient and productive. My brain's really just like, yeah, but it's the holidays already? Like, no brain, shut up. We have work to do, come on. My productivity never existed in the first place. <laughs> oh, man. Logos home at the switch on my desk, says Sarah. You know, you can play Switch games. I won't tell nobody. I ain't gonna snitch. Trade ship Dusty is ready. I love it. <laughs> You've only used your Switch five times. That's sad. I need to get one. I've been wanting one for like... <laughs> this is so silly. I've been wanting one for a long time, probably like five years since they came out, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I bought a new guitar recently. Haven't bought a Switch yet. Don't look at me. <laughs> I 
All right. Oh, look at that, we got air lanes, that's cool. So I need... Um, I actually don't think that the Crystal Island needs all this stuff now. If they start complaining, I'll fix it. I feel like I'm making a big mistake by doing that, but whatever. <laughs> I'll probably regret that. Um, okay, we're still looking for steel, so... Um, but I don't have that one going. Oh boy. Okay. Hmm. Can I put steel in there? Oh, cool. This is taking a lot of stuff, so let's just. Actually. Does this island have batteries? I also need those. Nope! <laughs> Let's just slap on Old Mate Dusty onto that lane as well. Good morning, Mama Monkey! Okay, Anna. Some kids' games are like real tough. I played the Lego Lord of the Rings game a long time ago. I, t I found that it just didn't grab me. I don't know why, maybe it's because I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to the movies. Like, eh, it wasn't. Eh. <laughs> um. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, they're really cute. I like them. I really want to play... Oh my gosh, what's it called? It was announced at the Game Awards last week. And it's either set in or inspired by New Caledonia. Um, and it gave me massive Banjo-Kazooie vibes. Because it's a 3D platformer and they like transform into animals and stuff. What was it called? Started with a T? Like Tachia or something? Again, probably butchering that. But I'm looking forward to it. Oh my god. Oh, it is called. It's literally called Tachia. That's fun. I'm actually gonna follow them so I don't forget. Let me find a picture for you all. Gameplay, please. Yeah, see? This is just from their Twitter. <clears throat> Looks really pretty, right? Big Banjo Kazooie vibes from the gameplay. Other than Game Boy, I could never get into consoles. My hand-eye coordination is atrocious, which is why I don't drive. Really? Uh-oh. I awaken the Kraken. A mighty tentacle arises from the water. You have awoken the Kraken on Toffee Pop. All legends say this enormous creature longs to be complete again, whatever that means. Ah, uh, good morning, Neve. How are you? How do you say your whole username? Neve, Neve Sigil. Nope. <laughs> That's not gonna be it. 
Oh. This port is full, huh? Okay. Frick. I'm running into supply chain problems. Um. I need more tools and I need stone. Bagger. Oh, bonjour. Still trying to say uh Dene Villeneuve name correctly. Oh man, piano I used to love, but then I had a teacher that I hated and it really put me off. That's so sad. That's really bloody sad. Hey! K Mage Q is now following. Thank you so much for the cheeky little follow there, my friend. Morena. Ah, oh, konnichiwa, Ninja Pizza Monkey. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. It's always nice to see your name pop up. <laughs> I'll have one piano for Noel or Christmas. I'm very close to pulling the trigger on buying another piano because I used to love piano as well and then I kind of went off it and I just wanted to play it for fun and then my very strict, very Russian piano teacher was like, why are you showing up if you're not going to do exams for it? And then I was like, okay, bye! And then left. <laughs> I don't actually think I paid her for that last lesson as well. Sorry! Happy Festivus! Yeah! Hey Bowie! I was just practicing saying Dene Villeneuve. I was doing it in front of my friends over the weekend, and they were like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, listen, there's this guy in the Before We Leave community. He's from Quebec. I gotta say it right for Bowie. Yes, I was, I was. I played guitar for a bit, but then I did it for about a month and just forgot. So now it chills in the corner of my room. Oh, that makes me so sad. I have my guitars to my right. They're my babies. I love them. Um, if you need support with practicing guitar, let me know. What? A special announcement? Oh yeah, well the experimental build is up over on Steam. We've been getting tons of great feedback. Um, and <laughs> I see your sweat. Your smile sweat emoji, Bowie. And like, I gotta say, I actually do talk about the Before We Leave community to my friends because you're such a big part of my life, everybody. Oh yeah, the calluses are real. You can't, you can't see mine, obviously, but like, um, if I touch something hot with my left hand, my fingertips are so calloused now that I literally can't feel the heat. It has to be effing hot <laughs> like uh, hot before I begin feeling it which is a little bit scary <laughs> I've practiced I pra try and practice an hour every day I have a very good teacher that like inspires me to be better so shout out to Joe if you're if you're ever watching this Joe <laughs> know that I appreciate you Jam session in the studio. Oh god, my improvisation sucks at the moment. Is this the experimental build right now though? Absolutely not, no. I'm playing the, the stable build. <gasps> Crap, it's the Kraken. Uh, um, yeah, I'm playing the stable build on, uh, on stream right now because I don't want things to break. <laughs> You just want to do it, you want to, but then you just know you'll do it for a month and then give up. I think it's actually fine to just like play whenever you want and then stop. Um, it depends on what your goals are. If you just want to vibe and play some sweet chords, then hell yeah, just play whenever you want. You don't have to become like freaking Alexi Laiho or something like that. 
where is this shipwright that I'm upgrading? I'm just like yawning and going around and around looking for it. Is this the one that I was upgrading? Frick. Eh. Okay. I'll, I need to actually pause this and get my resources to go to this here port because it really does need to be upgraded. <clears throat> so I wonder I haven't needed to do it earlier. It's actually doing not so bad right now. Yadi ba ba. 100% ain't becoming an artist or nothing. Yeah, totally. And honestly, if you wanted to, most pop is based on like three chords, three major chords now. <laughs> Taking a break from before we leave right now. I'm using the PC Game Pass, but I won't renew it. That's yeah, that's fine. Good on you. <laughs> I played religiously for like a week, but the stupid people were always hungry and made me angry. <laughs> yeah, they do that. I'm just like, oh, you're hungry. That sucks. Oh well. <laughs> I guess I know the the reasons behind why they're doing that and what like kind of I guess when you like know the AI I suppose of the game it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit oh yeah ninja pizza monkey we're friends on steam and I just saw like a gazillion achievements from you and I was like someone's been playing a lot of before we leave that's cool that's cool hungry but they won't build tampons and not be hungry what, what do you want what, what do you want from me bro <laughs> potatoes uh i feel bad for asking don't feel bad uh but do you have a guesstimate for the update on the main branch uh probably february at this point um we've gotten so much awesome feedback from people and now we're like implementing that which has pushed back the testing and quality assurance phase of rolling out the update. Um, which is, I think, also pushed back a lot of the localization that we do. I think we're setting off like half of it uh, soonish. And then I'll put that in March, maybe April. Oh, no, 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 no. It won't be that late. It will not, it will absolutely not be that late for my mental health. Okay, well, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. Do that. Do that. That's good. I think for my mental health, it will be much sooner than that. Well, if you put it as much, you'll be happy when it comes out before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True that. Please let me help. Where am I making glass? It should be over here, right? Where's my dang glass mine? There we go. It was right there. I thought it was something else. Unhappy workers. Okay, what's the go here? Yeah, let's do it. Let's make it automated. That should help matters. Oh, good morning, Nat! How are you? Thanks for showing up. Stop by, all that good stuff. I have only barely touched the games ever since release. Since I played so much, yeah, fair, and I was still a tester. Then after a couple of months, it came this thing of keeping the game as a backup in case I don't have anything else to play. Because of how good it is. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, Louie! Hello, the spear. Oh, we've got a few guitar players in chat now. Oh, hello, Sloth Borger. I love your username. That's wonderful. Good morning. Thank you for stopping by. I'm playing a sexual game these days, so I might play before we leave to chill. Yeah, nice. Good. Um, 
Another reason I stopped playing before we leave is because my friend was a high level than me in Forza. Forza. And I, I was salty and I grinded it. Ground it? Is it ground or oh, grind? Grinding. So it's grind, grinding, ground? Grinded. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bit of bump and grind. You know? <laughs> oh god, I don't care. <laughs> IDK. Ah, yeah, I know, right? Gr ground, ground DA says the spear. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and say that. I've been hyper fixating on the planet builder. Are you the person that has been making wonderful custom planets? I had a brief look at them yesterday and I was just absolutely shook. Amazing work. Aha, you are. I was shooketh. That it really buttered my croissant, if you know what I mean. Can we see? Absolutely, yes. Sorry if I'm making you scream right now. <laughs> um Most recent. Here we go. My favourite one is Yonsei because I just never ever thought I would see that in like the <laughs> Before We Leave workshop. It's wonderful. Everyone, go, go to the Steam workshop if you have Before We Leave on Steam and play some of these wonderful bloody custom planets. Look at that! There's a whole bunch more, but... <laughs> Incredible. Hey Sam, are you in chat yet? Most pop- no, I want most recent, please. Let's look at this one. Marvelous. Hello! Good morning! I'm gonna ring you soon. We love to see it. Look at that. Um, KQ, KMHQ, or the scribe. Um, you were talking about one yesterday that was like, you designed it to be quite challenging. Which one was that? Is, is it this one? Ah, uh, you're still playtesting and ironing out little things here and there. Okay, we can keep us bounty. Okay, it is this one. Sweet. I have a genuine question. Do people boil sausages? I have in the past. I have in the past. For sure. Yeah, I think I want to automate the sand mine. I think it's time. Why are we making you cry, speak last? Sorry. <laughs> I microwave all foods to cook them. <laughs> that is so cursed. Natsal is going to be freaking out. What? The microwave is the powerhouse of the kitchen? Oh my god. <sighs> the microwave is the only house of the kitchen. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it wouldn't take me much to be that person that doesn't have a microwave in the kitchen, to be honest. Instead of boiling veggies to cook them, try microwaving them. Or <laughs> Excuse you put, Don't put bacon in the microwave! That's so cursed! No, it's it, the smell that microwaved bacon bakes is rank. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> coffee in the micro- Okay, now I'm actually gonna fight you. I do not microwave your coffee. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> You're just winding me up for when Sam gets on the stream. I'll be like, Sam, what do you want? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so pressed right now. 
absolutely hilarious. Oh my god, I don't have power going to these buildings? Emily, hello? Explains a few things. Microwave your hot pot, anarchy. Oh my god. Microwaves are amazing, but you can't microwave everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh god. I think I spell, smelled like microwave bacon a few too many times as a kid. And it's just like... Oh my god, your pets after watching them. <laughs> Ninja, my god. Is the hashtag of the week going to be microwave? Yes, I think so. Just, and Emily getting monumentally pressed about it. Eggs in the microwave? Oh my god. I remember <laughs> microwaving a whole egg. My father got so mad at me when I did that. Don't, has anyone actually microwaved an egg? Just like put an egg, a whole egg in the microwave. Wait, what? Sam does microwave eggs for lunch most days. Sam, I'm going to need you to explain yourself, please. Actually, I'm going to ring you. I'm going to ask you about it. <laughs> Let me just... Yup. Oh my giddy up. Alright, I'm just gonna hop into the general voice chat since we're gonna be getting the whole team on. Let me just swap my microphone around. Sure hope this works. We're just gonna cool off the music. Sam knows that I'm calling him now, right? Everyone in the office? <laughs> Sam being is uh, Sam is being a real celeb right now, like showing up late. Oh hey! I can't hear you. That's weird. Can you say something, Sam? Here now. Hello. Hey, hello, hello. <laughs> Did you perhaps forget that I was interviewing you this early? Is this like no, 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 no. I was expecting you to like call me on Discord. I didn't realize you were going to be in the in the main voice channel. So that, I think that is my bad. I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday. Oh, um, awesome. yeah. You're just you're just fashionably late. You're you're a celeb. Right. Yep. yep. <laughs> Up with my, my black glasses and, and uh -huh. over. look at me. You got your Prada handbag, you got your heels on, exactly. <laughs> Big sunnies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, happy birthday! Thank you. How does it feel, um, being the age that you are now? Uh, about the same as it felt being the age I was before. <laughs> so, nothing revolutionary has happened overnight. No, no. Wow. You know, it'd be cool if, like, you woke up on your birthday and it was, was like, oh, I've, a, a achievement unlocked, I've grown a new limb or something. I don't know, like, <laughs> something cool. Yeah, I remember occasionally being really disappointed, but, you know, you get another year old and it's like, oh, it feels exactly the same. Oh, okay. Guess just repeat forever. And by forever, I mean, yeah. like, 80 years or so. Yeah, <laughs> If you're lucky. Um, so we've... <laughs> chat is just talking about microwaves. Yes. And... Yeah, so so eggs in the microwave. Yeah, can if we talk about a, that, please? If you put a whole egg in the microwave, yeah. then it's going to explode, and that's really bad. And totally. I've heard stories of like, bomb squads being called and stuff. Yeah. But if you like scramble it first, like you put it in a bowl, and you mix it up with a fork a bit, then you can microwave, and it's all good. And it takes like... I don't know, 30 seconds and you've got scrambled eggs. I, I will have to try this only because, you know, you're my boss and my friend and I respect you. I, otherwise, I would not. I'd just be like, no. 
yeah. they, they they overcook really really fast so mm. you've got to like and, and every microwave is different so you may get a few rubber rubbery eggs before you get them right but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean i was saying before that i did microwave a whole egg when i was a teenager and yes, you do. my dad the cook of the house did not tell me what would happen oh my god i remember the dread being like i just exploded an egg in the microwave and I knew yeah. that it was like about 0 0.25 seconds before my dad was like, Emily, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, sorry, dad. Oh, man. So I cool. once um, froze a bottle of Coke because I thought that'd be kind of, this is before frozen Coke was even a thing at all. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I put a bottle of Coke in the freezer and then I took it out and I opened it in the kitchen that mum had just spent a week like cleaning from top to bottom oh, um, so i had to clean the kitchen from top to bottom mm. Mm. yeah yeah I, I actually i want to talk about something you just said actually what do you mean before frozen cokes were a thing I, has haven't frozen cokes always been a thing no when did this become a thing um like not all that long ago because you're going to be upset, but I remember being about five and having frozen Cokes. That was 1996. Yeah, well, I was <laughs> uh, 20. Oh, yeah. No. I... It's just a few yeah. weeks ago, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you were in Australia, and Australia's all, like, advanced and space agents. <laughs> it's so funny that you say that about Australia, because we're so ass backwards over there. <laughs> <laughs> we'd like oh well, we get everything at the last bloody minute and then new zealand's just like hey what's up <laughs> hold my beer <laughs> hold my hold my frozen coke that i won't get until the 2000s or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man that's some good bands i appreciate that hey um i had this whole plan that like we were going to be really concise and fast because we have a lot to cover today um, and then we just yeah, gas back for seven minutes about food. Oops. <laughs> Bowie says, plan, lol. Exactly. Um. <laughs> so we've had a couple of things happen recently. I mainly wanted to talk about the Wasteland update uh, yeah. because there's been a lot happening with that in the past week since the experimental branch went up on Friday. Was that Friday or the Friday before? I can't remember yeah <laughs> it was on a day it was recently let's just say last friday because i feel like it was last friday um we've gotten a bunch of feedback from the community uh, which oh, yeah. is absolutely fantastic but it's meant overhauling a few things right um well i mean fixing stuff up that mm. you know, no no sort of oh my gosh that's terrible we have to completely redesign that system which can that's happen good. didn't Awesome. So, what have what have you what have you been up to, you and Isaac? Um, I mean, largely just yeah, working on pay feedback. I think it's been a bit longer than last Friday. Last Friday was the we released a patch to it. Actually, I'm curious now. I'm going to look it up yeah. while trying to also talk at the same time. It might have um, been the week before last. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I'm being like, hey, let's release this update on Friday because nothing's going to go wrong over the weekend. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolute madman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a Friday. Man, people do like to talk. I'm pretty sure. Let me uh, actually check Steam because I did a little, a cheeky little. Ah, here we go. Ah. Uh, December the 3rd. Really? Was Friday two weeks ago. Because okay. we're insane. Oh, God. <laughs> the time has absolutely no meaning in December. No, of course not. Um, yeah, cool. So you and Isaac have been just taking on board player feedback. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, lots of... So the, the smart shipping feed feature that we've talked about and I showed off in the Steam broadcast. Um, lots of feedback about that. Mm. Um, partly sort of people go, oh, this is really different and I'm finding it really hard to wrap my head around it. Mm. Um, we've added in things to explain it better and, and you know help you work out what you're doing better and all that sort of nice usability things. 
That's good. Um, and reasonable number of bones, but not too many, so mm -hmm. it's all good. Yeah, uh, it, I feel like it hasn't been a super, super buggy launch. I know people had a few problems with a few. I know the F11 button wasn't working <laughs> for oh. a bit there. That's um, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Speakla, for stopping by. It's nice to meet yeah. you. Enjoy your eggs in the microwave. <laughs> don't explode the microwave, though. Don't, don't do that, yeah. Um, was there anything else from the Wasteland update that you wanted to talk about? Maybe release date? Um, so, I mean, we, we, yeah, we originally thought we'd be releasing this in, I don't know, like, November. Um, Lol. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's realistically, it's turned out to be the largest update to before we leave we've ever done. Um, mm. So it's taken a lot longer. And also we've been doing all sorts of other things behind the scenes, which has dragged us away from, so it hasn't been focused head down, nothing but the Wasteland update. Um, mm. Basically the whole time we've been making it, we've been dragged in other directions. You know, things like the Xbox launch and all sorts of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Um so the current plan is that we're so we're working on bugs we're getting it into a pretty good state um team 17 qa will start asap next year mm -hmm. um i mean they i think they could start doing a little bit this year but that's almost getting to the point where what's the point yeah um, and fixing i mean you know work, working through the qa stuff will probably take a week or two um so realistically it's going to be kind of ready to go probably early february um i mean everything just takes so much longer this time of year because people are on holiday or getting ready for holiday and also because there's so many game releases happening now mm -hmm. that the people that do stuff like um qa and localization and stuff all of a sudden they've got five times more people asking them for things so things just take longer they have their hands um, well and truly full yeah 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 so yeah. it's looking likely that it's going to honestly be released around about mid-feb um yeah. just because that's how long it's going to take everything to line up yeah it's let's, really sad, let's just say it's all good very late feb just in case <laughs> yeah. um yeah i'm really looking forward to it i i always say that for our updates but um yeah it's our biggest update ever so i'm keen to see uh how the community reacts to it yeah, yeah. and of course people can always try it out on the experimental branch which is yeah as the nature of these things becoming less and less experimental as time goes on um mm -hmm. for because we're you know fixing up all the stuff yeah um you guys are smashing it so as well as that, I wanted to, I just wanted to really quickly in two minutes talk a little bit about uh, the Xbox patch that hopefully, fingers crossed, should be coming out uh, this year. Um, hopefully we'll get patch notes soon, but if not... I, yeah, I would be very surprised if it's not this year. Yeah. Um, now, I did, I did talk a little bit about this in a recent reddit post and i also linked it in our discord so people could go and have a look but in your own words mr creative director mans did you want to talk about the the uh the reason why it's taken a little bit of time to get an xbox patch out um i mean partly it's because there are four teams working on this rather than one mm. um so you know we're um, we didn't create the Xbox port. Uh, that was created by a company called Do Games, um, which have done amazing work yeah. taking a mouse and keyboard strategy game and making it work on, on um, Xbox, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so they're the ones that are actually fixing stuff on the Xbox port. Um, and we're the ones taking player feedback and reporting it to them. Um, but also there's Team 17 who quite rightly want things that are released with their name on them to be good. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a matter of, oh, we'll just fix the bug and release it. Um, it's got to go through QA and that takes um, a while. And also because 
this I think I think the way it works is because this is our first update to the console it needs to go through proper Microsoft approval processes mm -hmm. um, I believe they waive that after we've had one successful update so later updates yeah. to um, the console will take less time um, fantastic but yeah, so so we're we're pretty much at the end of this that process. Um, I think at this stage it's unlikely to come out this week, but it's not out of the question. Um, yeah. But next week is. I mean, I don't want to say guaranteed because then I'm going to be proven wrong. But <laughs> yeah, you know, it it feels like it's about as close to that as things get in in this world. So indeed, indeed, yes, we are uh, knocking off at the end of this week for Christmas holidays. Um, yep. except for Sarah, who will be manning the fort for uh, two days next week. So hopefully at the bare minimum we can get patch notes out on Discord and Reddit, uh, yeah. which I'm being a bit of a pain in the butt about. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. I'm getting better at asking for things. Just being like, hey, hey, we need this, please. Um, yep. It's a very, it's such an interesting experience. I feel like with everything that we do in terms of you know, update releases and console releases. Uh, we learn more. And it's it's really good, but by jingies, can it be stressful? Woo. Yeah, very. Yeah. Um, aside from the Planet Editor, asks Bowie, and other things I'm forgetting right now, do you plan to maintain feature parity between PC and Xbox slash Microsoft or Windows 10? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. I mean, we, we can't... You know, we need, we need to be a little bit careful there. We don't control Team 17 or do games. Um, and it is, in the end, their choice um, mm -hmm. whether they're going to um, port things across. But I, I, as far as I know, the intention is that we will um, port updates across to, to Xbox. Yes. Um, be not to. I mean, some of, some of the features coming in the Wasteland update will make the Xbox version so much nicer to play. Mm, mm, absolutely. Yeah, we're not designing the uh I, I don't know if you'd agree with this but we're not designing the wasteland update to be really hard to bring to xbox kind of like no. the planet editor which is like just fiddly beyond comprehension like i wouldn't even mm. know where to start with porting that which is why it's not which is why it's not on the xbox version before we leave but uh yeah it's <sighs> It's been an interesting year, which we'll get into more because now it's time to get the whole team on. So mm. I'm going to take a quick break uh, chat. We're just going to get everything with the team set up. Uh, well, there'll probably be a little bit of fiddling involved. I'd love to see all your faces, by the way, everybody. So make sure you've got your cameras on. Um, I will be right back with the whole team. Okay, now I have to do some stuff on my end. Let's see if it works. Oh, look, it's everybody. Wow. This is gonna completely mess everything up. Let's see. Dun, dun. Come on. Nope, that ain't gonna work. I'll turn on camera. That would help. So OBS won't let you share uh, the camera, which is a little bit frustrating, so I might just have to drag my my silly self oh look it's me and i'm totally in the oh oh okay let me just fix my green screen you're seeing behind the scenes twitch chat wow yeah. oh my god please work yay we did it oh now reality show on the other side Hello. is that working okay cool <laughs> yeah. we did it Oh look, there's a bunch of new people in chat. Hey, pizza guy, kia ora. Um, Mama Monkey will be here soon. Um, Just walk in. in a sec. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, hey everybody. Hi. Hello. So we have to my uh, left, I think. <laughs> Everything's flipped. We have Sarah, and then above me we've got. Sam, and then diagonally, uh, we've got Isaac. 
And then <laughs> Anna will be here soon. I think she's going to jump in with you, Sarah, right? Mm. Nice. Um, wow. So 2021, huh? We're at the end of it. Yep. Man. That's what... a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a massive year that we've had. Um, I'm just trying to like mentally recap what we've all done. We had the the quality of life update in Feb. We announced our Steam page and then our launch in March. Steam <coughs> Steam launch in oh, is that Nana? Hello. Hey. Um yeah, we hey. had we had our Steam launch in March and another update uh, not March, May, sorry. And then another update then. We had our company retreat in June, which was lovely. And then we launched on Mac in August and we went to a conference. You gave a wonderful keynote, Sam. Yeah. Which was fantastic. Then we released the Planet Editor update. Then we released on Xbox. And now we're here in December. And a bunch of us have had like major life stuff going on at the same time. So I just wanted to like take a moment to reflect. Oh my gosh, MJ's here. Hi, MJ. Um, just a little cheeky sneak peek for everyone in chat. MJ is actually our new, our new programmer. She starts in January and we're all very excited. Uh, but that's just a little, little cheeky surprise for everyone in chat. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to take this, this moment to reflect on, uh, on everything that we've done this year and like congratulate ourselves and think about what we're really proud of and like what we what we think we could have done better perhaps and what we'd like to do next year and what we're looking forward to next year so um who would like to go first <laughs> Ooh, volunteers. Okay. okay sarah you could go first because you hit that i'm a meanie <laughs> um I think, like, I don't think there was, like, a specific, like, thing that went well, just, like, the usual, like, joining the gang, really, because I've now been a balancing monkey for just over three months, which is, well, it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, obviously, lots of other things went well, but it's, like, the overarching umbrella of it all, I guess, and next year there's so many things that i'm excited about like personal and work i'm so mm. excited um but i don't know like if we go to conferences it'll be my first ever video game game industry kind of conference mm. thing. oh my god i'm so I'll proud be of you you've done so well sarah like for chat, just so you know, Sarah's an amazing human being. I'm totally biased because we share a last name. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you've you've joined the industry and also picked up, like, a bunch of new responsibilities in your role. And in three months, you are crushing it. Like, you were crushing it within weeks. You've helped us so much. You, you really yeah. are just a fundamental part of our team now. And I'm so grateful for you. And just everything that you do oh no am i gonna make you cry on the stream <laughs> you can just duck beneath the desk <laughs> oh my god that's okay i cried on stream last week so like welcome to the sob club it's me i'm the president emily <laughs> oh man um is there i don't know if if this question like really Oh, actually, before I ask that, I wanted to ask you about what your experience joining the game industry has been like, especially as a young woman. I think uh, I was a little, I was excited, but I was also a little bit anxious because things you see in the media are a very big mix of what's really going on, mm. but it really dips into like the indie kind of world, and so I've found that the smaller your team is i don't know like maybe the better maybe that's completely wrong but in my experience like when i've been looking into other industry company things they don't really that doesn't 
seem like they're a big old family kind of thing, mm. but like when you're in smaller, you get to be closer. But I think I've definitely learned a lot about the industry in the past three months. Oh yeah. It's always been a huge interest of mine. Um, coming from like a media and theatrical side, I knew that industry, but about storytelling and things, but now the storytelling version of video games and things, then pretty cool. But obviously it has a wee way to go in terms of diversity, inclusion and stuff, but it's getting there. It's getting so, there. Yeah, it's definitely changed since I uh, started uh, yeah. my c career and studying mm. in 2015. We're slowly getting there. Um, so hopefully by the end of our careers we'll see like a massive change um, yeah. and everyone will be included um, exactly. awesome okay I'd love to chat with you more maybe I'll just get you on the stream one day and we can just have a real proper gas bag yeah 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 um, oh yeah yeah just make it make a card for it and I can play it <laughs> <laughs> um, hey Anna, you're conveniently on the same screen, so why don't we why don't we pick your brain? Sure. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so yeah, I guess basically the same thing. What What are you proud of this year? What do you think we could have done better? And what are you keen for for next year? Well, I'm a little bit like Sarah. I've come in quite new to the industry, um, so I've only been on board like working here with these guys since uh, September, start of September last year. Mm -hmm. So it's been a bit over a year. So I feel like I've learned a whole ton and now I'm really excited that I'm able to do things like go and talk to publishers by myself. Um, oh, killing it. And, you know, sell the game and consider where we're going in the future and whether we can afford it and um, <laughs> <laughs> management -y side of things. Um, I've been really enjoying being able to make my own hours, which has been really nice. Yes. Owning a company. Um, and I'm really excited, you know, we've been trialing a four day work week. Um, and uh, it's been it's been really exciting to be kind of feeling like we're at the forefront of a movement, you know, of uh, rethinking work um, and what's actually important. Because um, for me, you know, I just love looking after my people. Oh, um, you're so good at it too. Because that's what I feel like. I feel like, you know, it's mum and it's my job to look after everybody. Um, yes. Um, and so, you know, my, my philosophy, both as a mum and as a manager, is to um, help my, my kids, my people, my staff, figure out what they love and what they're great at and empower them to do that. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, I've been really, really enjoying being able to do that as the, the managing director of this, this thing that Sam and I have created, which is really exciting. It's greater than the sum of its parts, you yeah. um, know. So I'm looking forward to learning more about that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm really excited to move on into the next game because it's like the game that we're moving on to, try not to make any spoilers, but it's kind of the vision that Sam's had in his head from the start. And it's almost like before we leave was kind of a compromise where he had to um, just put aside some of the things that he was really hoping to make because he wasn't at that, he didn't at that point have the capacity or the skills to do so. And now we've got this amazing team of people and we've got the time, we've got the funding, we've got partnerships, we've got all the stuff behind us that we couldn't even have dreamed of when Sam started off mm. with this whole, um, evenings and weekends. And now it's like, now we're really going to make that dream a reality and that's really exciting. So hard. And so much better because there's all these other people inputting into it as well. It's not just Sam's idea and, and um, you know, his picture. It's we've got Isaac and Emily and Sarah and MJ and Tom all now are going to be able to feed into this this amazing thing. I'm very excited about it. Oh, yeah, I can't even like envision what it's going to be like because I've not had this experience before. The only other time. I've had it, I was in a position where I wasn't listened to and it was really frustrating and now I have such an amazing team and we're, we all love each other, we all respect each other and all that good stuff and so, ah, uh, yeah, I just, I'm really excited. 
um, Bowie's comment in chat, but are you taking care of yourself? Well, I'll let you know, Bowie, I have just come from the gym. Um, I work three quarter time um, to make sure that yes. yeah, there's biceps in here. This is this full of Yeah, here. this <laughs> is <laughs> strong girl think, hours only. It's also been really exciting. Yeah, yeah. Good on you for. I think it's really hard, like get, showing up to the gym as well and like doing exercise, especially when, you know, <laughs> you're a freaking managing director. You've got a lot of spinning plates, uh, and you have to keep them spinning. So yeah. taking the time to take care of yourself is totally something you should be proud of as well. I, 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 I'm staunch support network around me. There's there's always people that I can call on um, when I need help. So uh, that's that's really great. Yeah. You'd love to see it. You've learned, yeah, it's amazing to see the evolution, your little Pokemon evolution between like September last year and, and now, um, you know, you got, you got the Moonstone and you were given it and then you evolved into Clefairy. Is it, is it Clefable? I can't remember. Anyway, this analogy has gotten away from me. So I'm gonna... <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah, so my Game Boy was my best friend when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of you know what I'm talking about, or is it just me? <laughs> okay, oh, that's pretty standard. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Um. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say something else, and it's just escaped me. Um. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the the Pokemon analogy really just wiped my brain, so that's cool for me, I guess. <laughs> Um, awesome. Well, thank you, Anna. Um, I'm going to pick on you, Isaac, now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You. Thank you for coming onto, this, onto the stream, by the way. I know, like, it can be a bit difficult, uh, you know, showing up in front of a bunch of people, so I appreciate it. You've had a massive year, my friend. Oh, my God. You've probably had the, the biggest out of all of us. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, if you're comfy? Uh, yeah. can you hear me all right? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, well, this year, I have a kid at the start of the year, and it's like almost 11 months now. He's so yeah. beautiful. Got married last month. <laughs> and now we've been working with Sam for the last week, I think, for like two years. Oh my god, has it already been two years? <laughs> So, yeah, it's been amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Isaac just loves talking about himself. You're very, yeah. you're very good at it, Isaac. <laughs> um, Oh man, yeah, wow. You've you've taken over doing a lot of the work on Before We Leave as well. So like Sam's off being Mr. Creative Director Mans, as I love to say. <laughs> and so you're just plugging away at Before We Leave and like making sure that things work and like the features run smoothly and get implemented properly and all that sort of thing. How, do you, how does it feel going from kind of like a junior programmer role, which is what you started as at Balancing Monkey and kind of like moving into into the role that you're in now. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Really. Like even from day one, like Sam, like wanted my feedback and respects my feedback. And it's really weird having such an influence over like a live game. Mm. Yeah. I never thought I'd be able to, like it's something I've always wanted to do, but I never thought and yet here you are that's pretty cool yeah I will also speak to that like in my first week I was helping overhaul the tutorial and I was just like I'm absolutely going to get told off any minute now and Sam you've always been just so open to feedback and I think all of us really appreciate your just your candor with, uh, you know, what happens behind the scenes and like, it's just, the, I guess the lack of ego maybe, uh, about taking criticism 
and some which sometimes is probably really hard to hear. I feel like we do push you a fair bit. <laughs> I tell my partner about it. He's like, is Sam okay? And I'm like, oh, that's a really good point I should ask. <laughs> oh, man. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's awesome having having you as a creative director. So I, I just, I'm so bloody grateful for all of you. Truly. I think that's the main takeaway from this bit, you know. Um, it's just great working with you all. Is there anything that you'd that you're really jonesing to do next year, Isaac? And is there anything that you feel like you could have done better in twenty twenty one? I'm really looking forward to next year, like the team growing and mm. um, yeah, it's all the new things going on next year. Um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty cool being in, in part of the next project and stuff. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> A little intimidating, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it kind of makes me sweat a little bit. <laughs> Not going <laughs> to lie. Like, oh god, oh, a whole video game. It's very different, like, coming in halfway through and just being like, okay, everything's sort of set up already. Uh... I guess in a way, for me, I guess, maybe it's a community manager thing, but the stakes aren't as high, I suppose, because your influence hasn't been as great as it would be if you're there from day one. Now, we're all here from day one. <laughs> so it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting time next year. Um, I guess I'll move on to birthday boy now, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, you love it. <laughs> you were very happy when you pointed out that you couldn't sing your happy birthday because then you get uh, easier move. This is my this is my gift to you. I was like, I'm just gonna bring this up. Tune and if we sang the alternative in tune in Mali, then no one would know that it was. I don't know the alternative tune, but we're gonna have to learn it over lunch. <laughs> 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 I thought they renewed it again. Are they like renewing it? Did say something about that? I have no idea, huh? Um, well, we won't torture you today, Sam. I, again, I feel like we push you enough already. So, like, let's give you a break on your actual <laughs> real life birthday. Yes, <laughs> career and the fact that I've had software crashing for the millions of live viewers, and it's like, yeah, you guys are rubbing me as fun. Oh yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Um, at least you guys can sing. Um, <laughs> and no previous job, any time you get like this, we have these, these long corridors with these sort of pods of offices down there. Um, and any time any group of the company, there was a birthday, you had people in the, sort of the little meeting area in front of their pods singing happy birthday, and it sounded like cows mooing down the <laughs> long corridor of the building. It's terrible. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I shrivel up and die. <laughs> like call it sick on my birthday because it's less painful than dealing with that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> hey, uh, Sam, yeah. what's up? It's the end of the year, and I'm gonna ask you similar questions to what I've asked everyone else. So let's. I guess me acting like it's a surprise is probably not. A great idea. Maybe cringe, as the kids say. But... <laughs> <laughs> totally, yeah. Um, what are you really proud of this year that you've done? I was thinking, like, if we, if we can go to a slightly larger time frame, um, then the company has gone from three people in, like, August last year to seven in, like, January next year. Um, and so that's pretty amazing. Um, I think I've worked out that something like 11 people will be relying on what I created for their livelihood, um, which is not something I ever expected would happen. I sort of assumed I would work for the man for all of my life. No pressure, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> and that. Just wrong. Wow. 
that would keep me up at night. How do you handle it? What will be, will be. Oh, man, what a good attitude. Um, it's stressful sometimes, but... Ultimately, if the company fails, then we'll sell what we can to whoever and we'll all go and work out the place. From the oh. Of the oh my god. We're not putting that into the universe. <laughs> yeah, far out. <laughs> I'm thinking about the meetings that we have where it's like, okay, let's talk about the... What is it where businesses have to be like, okay, what if we got hit by a bus tomorrow? What would happen? <laughs> the bus problem? The bus factor. Um, the bus the factor. <laughs> oh, it's dreadful. Like, every time... I remember the first time you brought it up, Sam. I was so upset. <laughs> and I was. I told you to take care twice before I hung up the phone. <laughs> so we were, like, on a call. <laughs> I was like, please... Take care. Okay, just take care. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my god, it really shook me. But I, I, I by that point, I knew about it. But uh, it, it still really rattled me. Um, so it's really sweet that that's uh, what I ask. That that's the thing that first comes to mind: the growth of the company. That's cool. I like that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Being quite explicit, like Anna and I, that we don't want this company to get big. Mm. Um, you know, I mean, the biggest place I've worked in was like 200, 250 people. And yeah, no thanks. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, the, the, the sort of the, the proof of what I started out doing and that we're able to be people um, in the first place and pay more people and do more things and grow is pretty awesome. Totally. That's so good. Yeah, that's one of my big things. I mean, there's lots of other things for the year, you know, releasing the updates, releasing on Steam. That was huge. Publisher. Um, releasing on the Xbox and nothing exploding. Um, is pretty awesome. Um, so, you know, there's lots of stuff like that, but that's all just plenty. And here we are at yeah, the end yeah. of 2021. <laughs> Deadmate has just pointed out, oh geez, was Steam only this year? Boy, oh boy, yeah, man, it feels like it was a long yeah, time ago. Yeah. What did you say, Sam? Sorry? Seven months ago. Oh, God. Not only this year, it's only just half a year. Oh, okay, now, uh, oh, <laughs> time to lie down and scream. It just goes so fast, I don't understand. The more greys I get in my hair, the faster time goes, I swear. Um, far out. But it's only February 2021. Oh my god, shut your mouth. <laughs> Damn me. Yeah, August time for losing February 2013. Oh. Far out. Um, by the way, while, uh, while you're here, Deadmate has been really helpful with player support post Xbox launch. So thank you very much, Deadmate. You've done a great job. Uh, the wiki's looking great, and I super appreciate your help. Um, you're saving our bacon. One spreadsheet cell at a time. <laughs> so, uh, Sam, is there something that you think we could have done better this year, or you could have done better this year, sorry. And what are you super duper looking forward to in 2022? Um, I don't think there's anything I could have done better. I mean, there's, there's stuff I could have done better in like the perfect world or something. But in the, in, in the situations we've been in, I think it's going to be the Next year, I am so looking forward to working on a new project. <laughs> We're going to do something new, and it is going to be so good. Oh, man. I'm quite nervous about that also, because all of a sudden it's not me designing it, it's us. Um, and having to take everyone's views into account is going to be awesome, but it's also going to be hard. And having to make sure that everyone's got jobs to do is going to be interesting at times. Um, 
So it's going to be so cool making something new. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm keen to to move on as well, even though it's really scary. Mm. Um, but sometimes if you're if you're scared of something, that can be like a a good indication of the fact that you should do it. Yep. Um. Oh no! Damn it! Spotify is playing Ori in the Blind Forest. Two seconds. Let's just kill that. Last time this happened, we got a DCMA strike on our bloody YouTube account. Let me just loop. Oh, come back. All right. Is that going to repeat? Yes, it is. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go back to the team. <laughs> Copyright strike incoming. Yeah. Uh, Deadmate, do not jump off a cliff. <laughs> Unless you have adequate protection. I love, I love the version from the uh, Jimmy Neutron movie. If your if your friend was named Cliff, would you jump off him? <laughs> oh my god, Jimmy Neutron! Wow, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> the things you wind up watching five hundred times through repeatedly when you have kids. <laughs> For me, that was the Lion King. I, oh, had, yeah. I had a little, like a Fisher and, oh, is it, what's the, Fisher and Price, I think they're called, little tape recorder, I'm showing my age here, and I put a tape in the front, I had, had a little microphone, and I'd put on the opening theme for The Lion King on the telly, and I'd stick my microphone next to the speaker, I hit the play button and record it, <laughs> and I wouldn't... It's probably indicative of who I am as a person, but I would do it over and over and over and over again until I got it perfect. And then I'd like <laughs> go into my room and just well, binge it. Okay. Maybe it was the first Disney movie I ever saw. I listened to them, Fantasy with the Ops. Wow. It was like the wow. Okay. Is that the one with Michael Crawford? Yep. Nice. Yep. He was a good phantom. Um,. A lot of us in the office, everybody, are theatre nerds, so <laughs> this sort of thing isn't uh, unusual. It's actually kind of surprising how many people who are theatre nerds end up in game development. It's not really that surprising, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. <laughs> Making stuff up and yeah. fun and, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it kind of, well, what did you say, Sarah, sorry? Pretty colours. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ooh. Costumes. Ooh. Um, I was going to say something and it's completely escaped me. Oh, I guess the reason why I think it's surprising is because when you think about people who play games and game developers, you think about, you know, someone who lives in their mum's basement covered in Cheeto dust. But <laughs> it's actually not, uh, not the case. Uh, actually, I didn't tell you guys this, but when I went to the gym last week for the first time since August. Yay, lockdown's ending. Um, I got yarning with the people at the front desk and because I, I just wanted to like know how they were going and how their lockdown was and how the gym's going because I guess I that's who I am as a person. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a game developer by trade. So we're like, we've been doing great. And they were like, what? You're a game developer? You don't look like a game developer. And I was like, what? Because I'm at the gym, like, hello? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, but I'll be real with you, the guy was hot, so I let it slide. <laughs> um, I'm going to talk to myself for now. I guess what, what I'm proud of this year is, yeah, how the studio's grown. Um, everything that we've done... We've really, we've done a lot, y'all, and we've done well at it. Um, I'm proud of the recognition that our studio is getting. I think that we super deserve it because we're a bunch of cool people. Sam, your keynote was amazing. Um, it was a real privilege to be in the audience for that one. <laughs> um, it was just so cool. Um, I hope that what we believe in as a studio and our, our values and that sort of thing becomes more consistent in the games industry. You know, that lack of crunch 
the respect, the the four day working week. That's been really cool. Um, what, what I would like to have been better this year. No lockdown. Thank you. COVID, you have overstayed your welcome. Get the hell out of here. I'm so over it. Um, and I'm sure literally every other person in the world is too. Yeah. Um, what I'm looking forward to next year. Um, yeah, working, working on something that isn't before we leave and, uh, giving away a few more things to team 17 in terms of community management. Um, just so that opens me up to doing more game designy kind of things. So that's, that's going to be extremely scary. I'm very nervous about that, but, um, she'll be right, mate, <laughs> as they say. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Bowie. I appreciate the encouragement. And on that note, uh, we've actually got five minutes left in this segment. So chat, if there's anything that you want to ask the team, please go ahead and do it now. Um, sorry, what was that? The mic cut out. I think my daughter's gone away. She was in the chat, but um, when I asked her if she was being cringe, she didn't say anything. She's like, I think she's gone away. And maybe, she was, maybe we were being really cringe and she was like, I can't do this and put the phone down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was very flattered when she said I was cool in June yeah. after our after our company retreat, I was like, oh my god, a teenager thinks I'm cool? Yes! <laughs> yeah. yeah. And she was, she uh, she voluntarily came around for lunch yesterday because she wanted to hang out with the team. And made me freaking. <laughs> she's, she's great. Um, yeah. All your kids are great. Uh, they're good eggs. Oh, she's so cool. I'm really, I'm actually going to be in Dunedin in January and I cannot wait to see you all. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, and like meet you properly, Sarah. Yeah. The last one be reunited. Yes. <laughs> the clans. Um it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So I'm super keen. Next projects, Emily's coming. Mm hmm All conference stuff. New stuff. Oh my goodness. So much new stuff. Um, Bowie asks... Uh, oh, Deadmate just said something really sweet too. Actually, I'm going to read out what Deadmate said before I get to your question, Bowie. Uh, but I do see it. Deadmate says, Since we're doing a wee roundup, I just wanted to say thanks for the another amazing year with a lovely game. And as always, a lovely dev team still makes me so happy to be a part of such a friendly and down-to-earth team. And also thanks for giving me the opportunity to do all the bits and pieces I'm doing. Hopefully we can con continue to do fun stuff. Oh, oh dead mate, thank you. You're such a good egg. I appreciate you being around. Um, Bowie asks, uh, would you be comfortable telling us whether there's a game you're enjoying right now? Gang? Oh. Well, I recently really enjoyed unpacking oh, yeah. the game, um, and Emily played it, as you know, and was like the first one from the team to jump on the bandwagon, which was very unusual for me. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly, when I'm not doing um, Sudoku or Infamous Sudoku, I've been playing High Rise Heroes, which is a really old uh, phone game by Fallen Tree Games. I think they do some really good little puzzle games. Uh, love to link up in words and oh, yeah. there you go. I'm a mum gamer. <laughs> I don't play candy. No. Who's <laughs> best? No. Uh, I've recently been playing Fear of Spirit, which is a at least, at least about the same time as um before we leave, I think. Yeah, that's a Raw Fury game, right? Yeah, yeah. It's um very interesting i could probably talk a lot about it both good and bad yeah um, i actually want to hear what you have to say about that internally because i don't, don't maybe this isn't the place to shade other yeah, games okay. but um, and recently we bought a work export so that we could trade our game and that ran up the game. so i've been playing <laughs> oh orient forest and oh, spirit fair was awesome <sighs> 
Um, and right now, I started playing Halo Infinite, which I'm enjoying more than I thought. Oh, wow. Uh, here we go. So, yeah. The Halo universe is very cool. Mm. I need to look up the, uh, like a, what happened so far so that I had some clue what was going on because I haven't played a Halo since the first one. Really? Combat Evolved? Yeah. Holy smoke, Sam. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> uh, Sarah and Isaac, what are you guys playing at the moment? I'm playing so many games right now on game. Oh my gosh. I started playing Cozy Grove yesterday. Mm. Like, there are emotions happening. So when I need to finish that game, I do, then, um, mm, mm. But I've also been revisiting um, the Lego games, even though, yes, they're technically made for children, probably. Oh, yes. But my first experience with gaming was when I was maybe 10. Mm. I had the really old school Lego Star Wars with my dad. He would turn the volume up, and then my little logo and music would come on, and I'd run through to the computer room when I was a little kid. So now I'm been dipping back into that wee world, just for a little bit of nostalgia. Mm. And then... Even though it's a little bit stressful at times, Little Nightmare is actually quite interesting to play. It's a little bit spooky, a bit eerie, but it's, it's a goodie. It's a goodie. <laughs> Obviously, before we leave, though. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Uh, hey, Isaac, what's up? What have you been playing? <laughs> And I feel like I don't get attention all the time. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Shit, we played it. Um, I mean, we got my last game I played with Mimi and Middle Age and played it. Oh, another Kiwi game? Yeah, it's different. We managed to buy them, but I'm just not sure if I can play this stream. <laughs> it is yeah. remarkably, I think it's like before we leave a little bit sometimes in that it's very relaxing and then it's suddenly not and it's like oh god um i guess the thing that i've been playing recently is D, &D. <laughs> been uh joining in on a campaign that already existed uh thank you louis if you're still in chat for uh bringing me in i super appreciate it i ran half an hour late for the session on Saturday and I actually wanted to just sink into the earth. I felt so bad. Oh, oh never be late for D&D. Oh, because your DM will be disappointed in you and there's nothing worse. Oh. <laughs> but it's been really fun. Um, kind of, uh, you know, exploring a character and that sort of thing. Uh, you know, the theatre nerd's coming out in me. Um, and uh, also hanging out with friends. It's so good. I love D&D. &D. Um, hopefully I can get that one shot happening for y'all in January. That'd be cool. Yep. <sighs> um, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Um, mm. Hey, let's, uh, y'all keen to play some Gartic Phone? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hey, then, what kind of character you're playing on your D&D &D game? Are you asking Ninja what character he was playing? No, Ninja's asking you what kind of character you're Oh, my bad. What kind of character are you playing? I'm playing a, a furbolg wizard. Um, her name is Philomena. And Ooh. she is a soft girl. She's lavender. With long, long, long white hair. And a soft fuzzy ears like a goat. And I love her. She's, she's an awkward little bean. But she tries her best. <laughs> All right. Yes, Gartic phone. Uh, let's open this up to anyone who wants to join us. We're gonna keep it PG and let's be let's be fun. We'll do some Christmas themed prompts. What do you all think about that? Here we go. That's great. Marvelous. Okay, I'm just gonna mute everything again and get that set up. I'll be right back, gang. See you soon. <laughs>
Alrighty then. Oh yes, Bowie, I did say it earlier, but I'm being coy now. Ooh, let's just go back over here. Okay. Yeah, we have two new team members, dead mate. Um I'm very excited to tell you about them in January. <laughs> Yes, uh, Arkoen, aka MJ, is one of those team members. And she's very cool. Yeah. Alright. Oh, <laughs> we know they have a wake up. Yes, I'll let you speculate. <laughs> um, alright, gang, are we ready? Are we ready to go? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Remember keep PG and uh, Christmas prompts. Okay, just accidentally shut Twitch, that's all good. <laughs> Everyone is indeed writing a sentence, yep, yep, yep. Alright, let's see how bad we can do this. Oh, oh crap, oh. Hey. <laughs> Let uh. the panic begin. Short kings only. Oh, so Emily isn't the new artist noted. Maybe I am, you don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Good. <laughs> no one's going to have any clue what I'm doing. Whoever gets my drawing, I'm sorry. Whoever gets <laughs> my drawing, I'm sorry. Oh god, these do not look like what I was hoping they look like. Oh, that's just handed drawing. I think I could. Ah! Well, that's useful to know. What's useful to know? Uh, you can fill in the background. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I should have mentioned that. Whoopsie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dead mate, that'll make it too obvious. <laughs> Why are their heads on fire? Well, you know. <laughs> What? You know, when you Christmas, your head's on fire. Oh no. <laughs> Ain't that the point? Maybe. Look at it. <gasps> Suddenly flipped over to. Maybe the point. Um... Is there a is there a point? No, <laughs> is there a point to Gartic Phones? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Why was I going to say that? Can you win Gartic Phone? Or is it just chaos? Oh, that's right. We can all see Emily's picture, but... Um... Oh, that's that's treating! Darn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I put another window. 
see you. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> that cackle sound, my god. Oh, hey, Webby! How you doing? Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. Ease mode, ease mode. Ah, oh, stop doing that. Uh, no. <laughs> I've got the really calm before we leave music to fortify oh. me in this time. Oh my god, Wabby just subbed! Thank you so much, Wabby. Hey, Wabby. Um, apologies. Um. <laughs> no. Uh, what am I doing here? No. Definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> oh, jeez. Again, <laughs> I apologise. There's a reason why I didn't go to art school, okay? <laughs> Do you call it? Um. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have zero dignity. Or else I'd be dying right now. Is there a shift the thing that I just did? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay. It's okay. Stay calm. Oh, dead man, I'm sorry you had a crappy time at work. Zero dignity club, hell yeah. <laughs> you can be the president with me, Louis. <laughs> oh my god, that is beautiful. What the heck? Hello? Hello? Wabby, we had a very chicken heavy stream last week, thanks to unpacking. Mm. How y'all how are y'all doing? Are you are you sweating? Crying, shaking, vomiting? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yep. No. Was that Sarah or Anna going through it? That's... I mean, both of us are, to be honest. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was me that time. This is the best thing I've ever drawn. In my whole life. Recommending the door someday? Ah, don't do that. <laughs> that was Anna going through it. <laughs> the heart. You think it, MJ says I think it started going wrong for me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Welcome to my world. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is so cringe. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. They can have blue hair. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever drawn. Also me. Oh no. <laughs> Um, oh, 
crap. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna make zero sense. Cool. <laughs> That's okay, Wabby. You're allowed to miss whatever stream you want, my friend. I was just like, oh my god, there's so many chickens here right now. <laughs> Where's Wabby? Deadmate, are you playing? I don't think I saw your name. Ready for it, surely. Set with Christmas prompts and the stuff I'm seeing on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, to say the least. <laughs> oh, you're winding down and eating. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, ex oh, this is definitely not Christmas related. I've not yet seen anything that relates to what I'm at. Well, there's eight players and eight rounds, so you probably won't. Y'all, I haven't been to church in a very long time, and I'm trying to remember things that I've learned a long time ago, and it's not really working for me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. A for effort? Hell yeah. Birds have feet, right? Where would they be here? No, that's kind of like... Birds are entirely made out of feet. Birds are entirely... Oh god, that's so cursed. Yeah. Well, there's a thing that I saw yesterday about chickens bred for fast food. Franken chickens. Oh, oh god. Oh. I'm never eating fast food chicken ever again. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Birds are only feet and a beak. Correct. Oh shoot, I've got no time. I can hear a siren. They're, they're coming for my extremely bad drawings. <laughs> my crimes against humanity. Yeah, it's gone. I'm scared. I spent too much time on the radio. <laughs> All right. Snakes are just tails with heads. <laughs> All right. Choose how the drawings and sentences will be shown to other players. What's that? I don't know what that is. Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess around. Okay. Okay. What's the worst that could happen? All right. Let's go. A Christmas tree, but it's a space whale. Hey. Christmas tree, but it's a space whale. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh dear. Space whale with Christmas tree skin eating planet. Oh. Oh, okay, that is excellent. Who? Oh my god. Christmas space whale having a munch munch on BWL. Oh. Oh, these are excellent. <laughs> and oh, wow. A Santa space whale. A space whale. Yeah. Oh, that's also really good. I love it. Okay, I'm saving these. <laughs> and they're going in the Before We Leave Discord. 
Okay, next up we have I'm Going to Win, which I believe is Sam. Yep. <laughs> Unrepentant. Excellent. Sand is elves making motorcycles. Motorcycles, Sam, really? <laughs> oh, 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 wow, that's really good. Are you serious? Elves cleaning a motor. <laughs> <laughs> Two elves trying to get the radio to work. <laughs> I did not get very far. To elves listening to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. All right. That is so good. Far out. Wow. <laughs> a kiwi tangled in tints. L. Oh, yeah. poor kiwi. Kiwi wrapped in multicolored tints. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, yep. Nailed it. Not drawing much. Chicken yeah. with many necklaces. <laughs> 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 is offended in kiwi <laughs> bird with a colorful necklace yep <laughs> <laughs> I was going for the peace dove that's when I was like oh no it's been too long since I've been to church <laughs> what does the dove look like again <laughs> you're, you're gonna it's very innocent <laughs> <laughs> you've got, you've got People make soft toys out of children's drawings. Oh, oh, yes. oh man, yeah, we should do that. <laughs> Can we get a, a bl have you all have you all heard of Blahaj, the big shark soft toy from IKEA? No. Oh yeah. If you let me just show you Blahaj. There's a reason for this, I swear. I don't know if you're all looking at the stream, but. No, Ikea, you can't know my location. Oh, um, yeah. This is, this is Blahaj. I want a space whale like this. Can we play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to those two. Yeah. Merch? Hello? Yep. I have been thinking about merch, but, um, you oh. know. Oh. Oh. It will live on my bed. It will replace my boyfriend. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Try and space well as my boyfriend now. <laughs> All right, next up we have Sarah. Oh, no, we didn't say Sitting much. on Santa's knee. <laughs> Santa Claus yeah. at the mall. That's not scary. <laughs> what do you want? Oh my god. Oh, cute. Wait, no, Santa no. listening to a kid's wish list. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> Child <laughs> telling Santa what they want for Christmas. Oh, so you know, it followed the same way. Okay? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Really? Just have to go back and save that one because I didn't. Alright, next up. We have Sloth Borger. Christmas present with a teddy bear. That's right, dead mate. Yep. Oh, cute. Look at the teddy. Teddy bear and hey. presents under a tree. Santa is Sam and the kid is the user of views. <laughs> teddy oh bear God. and two gifts under the tree. Christmas presents beneath the tree. Hell yeah, we kept this one together. Oh, the flex, my god. <laughs> the sparkles and everything. Oh my god, are you cutting me? Are you cutting me? I'm cutting me. I'm a lovable. <laughs> Sound like Luffy Space Princess. <laughs> Fun! <laughs> okay, next up. We have the one and only Ninja Pizza Monkey, a long-term yeah. mod. Monkey like, decorating Christmas tree. Hey, I remember this one. Hey. Isaac, can you space out? Balancing well? monkey decorating Christmas Maybe. tree. <laughs> <gasps> Out of the 
that's such a good drawing. A balancing oh monkey decorating the Christmas tree. Yes! Keeping it together. <laughs> I love him. A friend. Mouse decorating a tree. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is so good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wait, that's me! <laughs> I'm not used to seeing someone else type. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, next up we have a Space Out Whale, which is Isaac. Santa with blue socks and a green hat. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I know what happened to this. Santa, where did my arm go? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so deranged. Santa's arm is missing. Hey. <laughs> Santa's present cost him an arm. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Well done, everybody. We said PG. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah, poor Santa indeed. Holy crap. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, it's, it's 12 o'clock. We've reached the end of the stream. Team, I'm going to let you go. Um... Thank you so much for joining me on the stream for over an hour today. Do you have any final thoughts for our awesome little community here on Twitch? I wish she's new to this. Nah, dude. Where's the next one? You want you want to keep going? There's one more. Oh no! I did. You know what? I did this last time, and then I had to do some editing magic to make it look like I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Yes, yeah, I don't know what happened to mine. Hey. Silent night, holy oh, night. Of course, I remember this one. <laughs> Why is men on Mars? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Two guys throwing cheese into a crater. Launch the cheese wrong. onto the grater. I think you mean it went perfectly. <laughs> Shit! That's so funny! Oh my god, I'm so sorry that I nearly skipped that. That is perfect. <laughs> From crater to grater, get to crater. <laughs> it's perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Thank you so much for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for pulling me up on that far out. Um, who's crying, Sarah? <laughs> Everyone's. <laughs> Everyone in the office is dead. Rip. It was nice having a company. Um... <laughs> All right. Oh. Take two. Hey everyone. Thanks for joining me <laughs> on twitch.tv forward slash balancing monkey games where you have a professional community manager who knows how to run a stream. <laughs> um, gang, thank you so much for once again joining me for over an hour um, and like answering my questions and playing Gartic Phone with everyone. That's It's always really cool to have you all on. Um, I will let you go since it has been over an hour and Sam, I know you in particular are probably like eating your keyboard by now because it's lunchtime. He he's vanished? Sam's gone! He's out of the building! <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. Alright. I will hang up. Bye everyone! Thank you! Bye! <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's meeting someone for lunch? Got it. Okay. Um, I think I saved that one, but I'm just going to save it again, just in case he's 
Cool. Um, friends, I will not be back streaming until February. I'm having a big break. Um, partially because it's been a big year. It's been a big year. It's been four months in lockdown here in Auckland and uh, <laughs> I need some TLC. And also, I will be in Dunedin for a week in mid-February alongside my new colleagues who I'll be meeting for the first time. Ah! And also the existing team, of course. So the schedule's a little bit strange. I should be back on the 11th of February, I think it is, but that might change. So, um, thank you all so much for showing up to these streams and making me laugh so much. And I just love this damn community so much. You're all amazing. Um, and it's a real privilege to, to oversee the management of, of, of the community and just be talking to so many awesome people from across the world every single day. Um, yes, good. Uh, oh, you're all so nice saying goodbye and everything. Sad about the short break, bit understandable. Yeah, I'm sorry, Wabby. You just subbed as well. Oopsie. Um, anyway, you're all great. I love you all. Be kind to yourselves. Have fun over Christmas and the new year. Happy 2022. And I'll see you all next year. Bye, everyone. <laughs>